Come with me to change my Dexcon G7 sensor again. everybody, Corey Expressu here on TikTok and YouTube. Before I begin on this little small video on TikTok and YouTube, please make sure to follow me on TikTok and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you never know what I'm doing on both platforms. So without further ado, let's get started. Come with me to change my Dexcon G7 sensor. Yes, it is finally time. It's been 10 days and I overkilled on the grace period. And of course, it was alerting me this morning that I need to change my sensor because it is finally time. I got woken up and spooked by the alerts on my phone and receivers telling me I need to change it right away. So why not change it now? And hopefully you guys will see the new location on my skin. So here we go. And of course, if you did not see the video on TikTok, please check it out. It's the alerts that went off on my both of my devices with the receiver and of course the phone because um, it actually woke me up because it had five hours left. And that loud sound that came from the device was the, uh, you need to change the sensor. Yes. And I'm gonna show you guys in a minute or two once it goes off again, so you guys will see that. Alrighty guys, I'm going to show you my old sensor spot that used to be. Do be advised that the sensor and the tapering is a little gross. So if you're really sensitive, I'm just letting you guys know ahead of the time. And um, my devices I keep are going off. So I'm trying to hurry this up so I can be able to change the 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 sensor code and everything so I can be able to start brand new. So do be advice again, this is gonna get a little gross. So here you go. I got it taped up, sealed up because it'll fall off. It did fall off on my on my seven, eight, and ninth day of the sensor being in place. So yeah, so I'm sorry if you've seen that. So I'm gonna show you guys the process of taking that off. Like right now, in case my sensor does go off again, you know. I think I'm gonna do is, since I already have the device on, I'm gonna to try to see if I could turn those notifications off. I'll turn those off. It says start new uh, sensor. I don't have my sensor yet. I'm showing you the old, the old uh, device and old, the old sensor part. So let me just, Go this real quick, dismiss. See, and it'll say no sensor detected because it's already past that. Anyway, let's let's do this, and hopefully you guys will see me change this out after I take the old sensor off my arm. All right, here we go. And I will, and again, I'm gonna put the new sensor somewhere on my body. This is so grody. I'm sorry if you guys see this, but. I'm taking this off. <laughs> it's in pain. And I'm going to clean this area too. There's the sensor. All the taping. So grody. I'm so sorry. Now, it's supposed to be easy by tearing it off because last time I yanked it off but, you know so I have to tear it off somehow all right so that is off now it looks like this 
Say goodbye to the old sensor and I'm gonna put in a new sensor soon. And hopefully you guys will understand that. And I'm sorry if it's if it looks so grody in that area, but I'm going to clean my arm off and I'm gonna uh, put it put the new sensor on the on the uh new part. So hopefully you guys will see that for sure. <laughs> and again, I'm sorry if I gross you guys out. I don't mean to, but yeah, that's how it is when you change the Dexcom G7 sensor, not the receivers. Alrighty guys, I had to take a shower, clean my skin, and make sure everything is not grody like before you see the uh, old sensor. I'm putting my new sensor on my leg. I know it's not recommended to do that, but why not? Since I already took a shower, this whole entire skin is clean, free, ready to go. I don't have to wash my hands because I already took a shower. So that's why I did that process. I'm going to go ahead and open up and you guys will see all the process on how to put your sensor on your skin. If you're type 2 like me, and of course, uh, it's a demonstration. Um, you guys notice I changed my shirt. That's why I took a shower early for a reason because I don't want to be uh, stinking, of course. Um, I don't want my skin to be all dirty for this process, like I said before. <laughs> so without further ado, let's get started. Okay, let's open up this box. <clears throat> you know, patch, you got the uh, little, little uh, stabber. Um, I think this time I won't be I I will be uh probably exposing the number for the receiver and of course the uh, the number on the stabber because uh I don't and you only can connect up to two devices so if you guys seen the code I know uh it's kind of us uh, kind of sensitive I don't know if you guys see that for sure but once I use that code I'm it's no longer available so. Why not, right? All right, so I forgot one thing, and I'm going to uh, come back real quick, and hopefully I can be able to uh, get it. And hopefully I don't forget anything else, because I hate forgetting things. All right, so the one thing I forgot is a alcohol swab, so I had to run to get that real quick. And again, if you guys see the... The receiver code, the receiver code or the sensor code, uh, it's not gonna work no more after this video because it's already on my devices paired, and hopefully I don't get in trouble by uh, at both platforms. All right, so simple. You guys already see me take out everything. That, well, that of course. Now it's time. Even though I cleaned my skin already, I do have to be prepared. And it doesn't matter if the Dexcom uh, logo shows in both directions. As long as read, it reads really good. Make sure that area is nice and clean. And you're wondering why am I putting on my my uh, my leg my leg area because uh, I know it's not recommended, but I want to show my Dexcom sensor so people know I'm type 2. It gets a good uh, little hint of what I have for, you know, for for a monitor for my di diabetes, of course, or type 2. Here you go. That's what it looks like. And I believe the sensor was this way. I think I'm going to point it this way this time. If it, it's upside down, it's fine. It's a simple process. You just stab yourself. Wait for a little bit. And there you have it. Now it's on my legs for 10 more days. And I'm getting new stickers. So hopefully you guys will see the new stickers pretty soon. Uh, and then you close it. And then you be good to go. It doesn't hurt at all. I mean, as long as long you get use of it. Get that patch. We're gonna put that patch on, and hopefully it will stay on. Um, let's see. Pull 
up one end like so. Put your finger now on the glue part. I go like that. And I can see this time. Make sure it's not, not, not too wrinkly because if you have it wrinkled, it definitely fails. Okay, once it and he's and here on your skin, you can go ahead and take the green green thing off. I just want to make sure I have rub all sides before I take the green off because I want to make sure there's no lumps here. It feels good if you have it on the fatty part. I have a lot of fatty parts on my arm, my belly, the legs. Uh, the, I was thinking about the calves, but uh, I don't think that's a good idea. But hopefully uh, this ear will be a good idea. And then you guys will see me have the De the Dexcom G7 sensor on my, my leg port, and it's going to be last about 10 days. The warm-up process takes a little bit. Um, I think I'm going to do it on the receiver first, and then I'm going to go through my phone later on. I do have an iPhone 11 Pro here that I always, you know, see my, my results. So hopefully I can be able to get that on the, the, the device itself. I can't wait to do that. And like I said, I'm going to get a new sticker. So you guys will see a uh, triple layer around this, this uh, sensor part. That way it'll be in here to my skin. I think it's good. Ready for the green part to get off? I think it's, I don't think it's ready. Nope. Hmm. Try the other side. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Oh, it is nice and and flat, not the uh, not the uh, <laughs> the crooked ray the last time I, that I did on my arm. So nice and neat. I love it. Very cool. And I'll be back and I'll show you guys the uh, the process of doing all the receiver and stuff. So that way you guys will see me do live in action and hopefully, uh, well, not live, but just do video wise. Uh, so yeah, nice and clean. I like the the smoothness of this. Hopefully, it'll stay on for another ten days. All right, we're gonna put the sensor on this receiver first, and then I'm gonna do my phone load later, so you guys will see that for sure. I'm gonna be going back on my chair for that, so I'm sticking to my my bed area for a little bit. So same thing like before, receiver code. It doesn't do the picture thing like the iPhone does. You have to do everything manually. And my battery is 25% right now. To set it up, you hit menu. And then you says start. See how it says start new sensor. And then insert, insert the sensor and you know, all the important stuff. Like you did before. Code. Enter the code that's on the receiver. Or on the, I say it's receiver. Well, both of this is receiver, so this is the stabby stabby, and this is just the regular one, or the regular receiver. <laughs> so you enter the code. Once I part this number, it's no longer work for you know both devices after I hooked up. It only allow one device, like the iPhone, the Apple Watch, and the receiver here. So it's too bad, but here you go. Once you enter the code, you hit submit, searching for the the uh, sensor part. It says keep uh, within three feet of the sensor and then it part. And that was pretty fast too. And that, usually it was slow the last time. Once that's 
hard to this receiver that Dexcon has for you when you first, you know, use the uh, the device. You know, this is the receiver part, and of course, uh, Dex Dexcon, uh, you know, do this all the time because once you start a new, you know, sensor, they give you a receipt, the re receiver, like the first, you know, first time. Anyway, um, once you once it pars, hit finish. Wait for the sensor to warm up. I have 17 minutes. Thank goodness I had this already set up for me, of course. So that way I don't have to wait too long. Once the sensor warms up and you know the receiver received the the Bluetooth from from both devices, it should be able to read. Um sometimes I calibrate this, but I don't calibrate it that much. Maybe one time use and that's it. But the, as long as the number is not higher than 300. So I have to, you know, figure that out for myself. So I'm going to let that sensor warm up and I'll be right back. And hopefully, you know, I'll let you give guys an update. Alrighty, let's do this on the iPhone. I was going to set on my chair for this, but I'm going to stay here on my bed. Anyway, um, I'm going to do this screen recording right now so you guys will see me, uh, You'll see the uh, Dexcon app coming up in a few seconds here. All right, since it says start new sensor, you guys will see that for sure. Uh, I just collect the start sensor and then scan the you know, QR code on the sensor hub here. Once this get through it's going to act you know do all the process again here you know insert the new sensor make sure everything is you know accurate you know make sure the sensor is in three feet so it could you know all that process you guys will see it once this loads Searching for sensor number. You want to par. Now it says 15 minutes. Sensor paired. Your sensor is now warming up. And then you wait for the, the 15 minutes. Uh, it was 17 when I had the receiver, but now it's 15. And I'm going to be back and hopefully it's, you know, completed after the, all the warm up and stuff. And hopefully, you know, everything will be, you know, smooth sailing there.
Alrighty, it's been complete. The warm up has been complete. I'm happy and I can't wait to see my results right now. So you guys see it on the phone and you guys are gonna see it on the receiver. Yep, one, four, three, it's a big glare. That's why I have to adjust. Yep, 143, that's what it says. So yeah, that's pretty neat. Um, you also see it on the iPhone soon. It should read off 143. And yes, it says, sensor warm up complete. You are now getting readings and alerts. And that's about it. So I'm real happy. Now I can be able to, uh, you know, start reading my, my blood sugar now. And you guys will see here. <laughs> that's why you guys see the screen recording. Because you guys will see, you know, all the fun stuff that I waiting for the warm up process too. Well guys, I hope you enjoy me putting a new G7 sensor in and ready to go. That was my last box actually. So I'm waiting for a new order coming in. And of course stickers too, because I got a surprise for you guys too. But anyway guys, thank you guys for watching. Please make sure to follow me on TikTok, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and don't forget to uh, click that bell too because you never know what I'm gonna be doing for a video. And of course, coming back like this and reviewing a new sensor or drink, whatever. But anyway, Corey Express too. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys next time. One more thing I forgot to mention that I did a walk test on my sensor area that I put in and it felt more comfortable, more relaxing and I don't have to worry about my arm. And if you wanna see my arm real quick, I cleaned it out and there's no glue part. So that is good because I did take a shower. I got a new set of shirt and of course I look cleaner. So yeah, but anyway, I'll see you guys later. Thank you.